at the Savannah Young Farmers Network, we largely implement farmer development and agribusiness development projects that are largely targeting smallholder and a number of commercial farmers. Experience capitalization is largely being able to tell a story, a story, a very smart story of how events unfold within various settings and with various people. So experience capitalization, I will say, is one of the smartest way to tell a smart story very well for people to be interested in, to learn, to adapt, and to be willing to disseminate what they have learned in your story. So I see experience capitalization as one of the most innovative way of telling a story and selling a story. First of all, I saw that uh, learning it with CTA, I innovatively came up with the approach of storytelling. I saw that using storytelling will help me to be able to introduce experience capitalization very quickly to the field officers. So I made them to understand that we are going to tell stories. And that made them to understand it is not an academic exercise. Because I believe that many people have been telling stories and are used to telling stories. So I innovatively told them to, to just relax and look at it like the stories we used to tell in our rural communities. So they should tell us stories of whatever they have been learning with the farmers in the community. And that really worked because if I had to engage them in a workshop for us to go through PowerPoint, it would have been difficult. So we just had to, an informal way of telling stories. Another way that we did it had to do with uh, Savannah Ghana is a very innovative farmer development organization, and many people know us for that. So we had to introduce another innovation called folk music. In Africa and in Ghana, we understand that folk music communicates stories from generation to generation. So I introduce folk music to the field officers to be able to talk with the mangajiers. The mangajiers in Ghana are like leaders in communities, and they are very much good in folk music to sing the songs of their successes and challenges in production, animal rearing, in agribusiness, in, in agroforestry, in any field in agriculture. So we use folk music. Another one that we use which is innovative is drama. And the drama that we used was such that the cast of the drama was the farmers themselves. Because we understand that people in the rural areas, farmers, want to have a relaxed way of telling their stories. So we use drama to be able to let the farmers themselves be the cast and be the people writing the story, to be able to dramatize it for other people to learn. So when I got back to Savannah, Ghana, I decongested the whole experience capitalization to make it very non-formal. Now, so when I introduced storytelling, folk music, drama to the field officers and the farmers, we had a good response to the approach. Currently, we have about 450 farmers who are participating in the various processes that is being used for uh, telling their stories and then disseminating their stories. We also have 10 field officers who are leading the process in the storytelling, in the folk music, and in drama. So we are making good progress. The next approach for us is to continue with the folk music, because I really am very optimistic that the folk music and the storytelling and drama will be successful, and it's already successful. Another one that we want to continue is the Farmer to Farmer Experience Capitalization Platform, because we believe that uh, community of practice it's not all about the, the literate. The illiterate too can have their own community of practice. And we call it F2FEC platform. The F2FEC platform is saying, okay, we are illiterate rural farmers. We cannot read and write, but we can also 
share our experiences and promote the adoption of our experiences within ourselves and within our farming communities and they are building a network. Currently we have about 350 farmers who are in the F2F EC platform who are finding a nice way of learning from each other within the platform. And I think CTA should continue with experience capitalization and another Thing they should center on is how to make it part of organizations because looking at experience capitalization many people have written on experience capitalization but how to institutionalize it within the organization not many people the last thing i would like to say is that cta should concentrate on non-formal experience capitalization processes because the formal ways are not really able to reach a, a larger population. In Africa and many parts of the world, we have a large population of illiterate farmers and agribusiness people. So we need a non-formal way like Savannah is doing to reach a broader population.